to the reading corner. I want to do like a Christmas vlog thing. I have one last bag I need to crochet for my friend's family Christmas thing as a present. I would like to do that. I also have to make a trifle and then a rhubarb crumble for like two Christmas event things that I'm going to. And then I also have a Christmas carol which I would like to read. Um, I also want to pick up maybe like Christmas romance. I think that could be really cute. So that's like my Christmas TBR, which is Christmas Carol, all the other stories, and a Christmas romance of my choice. Um, I'm kind of liking the sound of this book called For Ho Ho. <laughs> um, it's like a little gay romance. Um, it's fake dating trope. It's Christmas. I think it's friends to lovers. I don't know. Anyway, I just kind of read a short synopsis and I'm like, that sounds freaking adorable. But I think I'd have to buy it on Kindle. So we'll see whether or not I want to spend $4. So I also have this little um, hot chocolate advent calendar that I bought from TK Maxx for like $13. Um, and it has heaps of different flavors. And I thought, cause I don't really, I'm 22, so I can't like reasonably buy like an advent calendar with I don't know, Barbie or Lightning McQueen on it. So I was like, I'll do this. And then I also bought this. Look at that little bad boy. It is, I was like, well, I have to have a, a hot chocolate drinking mug for my hot chocolates. And I, I saw this next to it and I'm like, you have got to be kidding. Does this not give? Can I have some Turkish delight please from Narnia, right? vibes it's given the vibes i live in australia so hot chocolate might be out of the question might do an ice chocolate we might see i'll still do it in this mug of course that's the intro that's the plan let's get to it hello and welcome to my kitchen so i want to try one of these there's no rule saying you have to do it at night time so i'm gonna pick one out try one Let's have a look at what we got. We have gingerbread, double chocolate, salted caramel, peppermint mocha. I don't like coffee, so that's going to be horrid. Um, hazelnut, toasted marshmallow, white chocolate, Irish cream, and French vanilla. I might leave the most Christmassy to Christmas day. And I feel like that might be gingerbread. Why do you basic? I might just go chocolate for the first one. See how it starts. So. I also have cream. It's my housemates, but they can deal with it. I'm just going to put a little bit. So that it doesn't just all clump at the bottom. Um, I bought this from the shop. It is wrapping paper with little birds on it. And my friend's family have heaps of birds and they're obsessed with them. So I figured that'd be great. The finished look. A little tester. Tastes like hot chocolate. Well, ice chocolate. Um, so I think I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna get the audible version of Ye Fo Ho Ho, um, the Christmas story that I was talking about, because it's free on audible. And then I will start my crocheting my last bag. So yeah. Right, so I've got my drink, I've mixed all the cream in, um, <clears throat> and I've got my wool. getting a whole new book when I'm trying to read the books that are on my shelf I've decided instead of getting for ho ho just now I'm gonna listen to a Christmas Carol I'm gonna get the audiobook version on Libby because it's free it says it's only three hours long so that's quick <laughs>
my progress. I've been listening to Christmas Carol for an hour and a half. I'm up to chapter three, I think. Um, I've got an hour and a half to go. I'm quite hungry, so I am going to make dinner and listen to more of A Christmas Carol. And then when that's done, I might start for Ho Ho. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about it. Like I'm listening to this and I'm like, I could be listening to Ho Ho Ho. <laughs> Finish this, make some dinner, keep doing this, but yeah. And so as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. <laughs> All right, finish that bad boy. This is my progress. Looking good, the sun is going down. Uh, I had dinner, it was really good. So, finish that, <laughs> finish the book in an afternoon. Um, I'm still gonna read the stories, like the short stories, but I'll read them on my own accord. And then I'm gonna start for Ho Ho. By the way, it's like full as in like fake, like full leather. It's by Nathan Burgoyne. So I'll stop that, keep going on with my thing. Um, I'm also, I'm gonna wrap some of the presents that I have. So I'll do that while I'm listening to For Ho Ho. I have no idea if it's gonna be good. I haven't read any re like reviews or anything. I just looked up Christmas Eve stories and then this is the first one that came up and it sounded good. I just realized that I didn't tell you what I thought about Christmas Carol. I really liked it. It was really funny. I forget that like classics can be humorous, like me reading Jane Austen and stuff, Pride and Prejudice. I forget that it's kind, it's very funny. Jane Austen is very witty and she's a very funny woman. Cause you think Charles Dickens, you think like Bleak House. But I think they're meant to be comedies. I think he writes comedies. He writes about like sad things and puts a comical twist on it. Anyway, so I thought it was really funny, really cute, wholesome vibes. It's Christmas Carol, so everyone knows about it. Super freaking cute. I love it. It's about chapter 10. I am almost two hours through and it's only like four and a half hours. So yeah, it's really cute. I'm like smiling the whole time and just like laughing because it's quite funny. This has been Fo Ho Ho, a little village novella, written by Nathan Burgoyne. Okay, so I finished Fo Ho Ho. <laughs> it was so friggin' cute. I loved it. The, the voice actor like did it really deep voice. <laughs> so sometimes it's a bit like, it felt like that guy, you'll know who I'm talking about, the guy from um, Empress New Groove, his voice, <laughs> like, it was like super deep, um, but it had like a twang to it I quite liked, <laughs> but super wholesome, super sweet, so much representation, I, I just loved it. <laughs> a 5 out of 5, if I'm honest, it's getting higher than a Christmas carol, I give that a 4 out of 5. <laughs> super cute. I have finished one side of my bag and now I've started the second side, depending on what time it is, 10.30. I mean, I finished two books in one night. I didn't read them myself, granted, but still, freak it out. I wish I got into like audiobooks more sooner because they're great. Okay, you will not 
guess what I just found out. I was on Goodreads and I was figuring out what other books Nathan Burgoyne had written. And I clicked on this like other story that looked kind of Christmassy. And I was reading it and I'm like, this sounds really familiar to what I just read. And then I kept reading it and I'm like, stop right there. This is the romance that they mentioned between two of the friends. So you're telling me there is more stories within this world? I'm going to have to listen to it and I'm going to listen to it tomorrow. Because I can't do it tonight. Otherwise, I will just sit and listen to it for the, for the next like five hours or however long it is. But... I love that. I think Audible only has this other one called Handmade Holidays, which is a Christmas one, so actually that's rather fitting. But it doesn't have the other one. So I think there's I think there's four by the looks of it. I should probably triple check that. Only two hours and twenty five minutes. One. First Christmas. Nick shouldered his way through the door of his apartment. Good morning. So I'm going to finish last of Handmade Holidays. I have an hour left and then I'm going to continue on with my second half of my bag. I finished Handmade Holiday and I'm halfway through my Handmade Holiday gift. Um, it was cute. It was a lot less romance than um, Faux Ho Ho. It was kind of like, I think it was like over 15 Christmases or something. Um, and it's very much like found family. And you just like see how different and how similar their life has is throughout the 15 holidays and then um, how the relationships develop and like that sort of stuff. It was very, very cute. So I finished three <laughs> short stories, I guess, or novellas. Um, I honestly did not think I, it's very easy to get through books when you read on Audible. I've gone through three. So I might try and find something else. I'll read those Christmas Carol and other, the other stories in that book but I might just watch some YouTube or something while I finish this but very cute I'm so sad that I can't find the other ones on Audible I'll see where else I can find them It's kind of big, but I don't know, I just followed whatever I was meant to do. So now I'm just going to wrap it. Morning. So today I plan on going to the city. Um, I'm going to catch the ferry in and then I'm going to go to the secondhand bookstore. And then if that does not work, I'm going to go to the Big Dimmicks and just buy goddamn Princess Bride. It's taken too long. I wanted it for a Christmas present, so I'm just going to buy one copy and then um, I'll buy my copy like online 
for cheaper, but I just can't. Um, if I order online, it won't come in time. There is that shop that I was talking about that sells DS games at like the shopping center, not in the city, but just a different shopping center. So I might go there and have a look. Exciting. I mean, they might be expensive. I went to another one. I saw like a few games. Mario Kart was $40, but yeah, let's go. All right, so I was walking out, saw the post box, realized I've got a package. It's my sister's um, present. It's not necessarily a good present, but it's a present. When we were little, she used to have this one and then she lost it. I bought him on eBay. Um, I had to get this one. I just, it was like, it was a, they, they were selling two and you couldn't just buy one. So I've got two mini kids. I might give this one to my brother for the just shits and gigs. Um, but this is my sister's present. <laughs> find it the only one left i went to the bookshop they said no we don't have that but you can have a look see if you want and i'm like fine i'll just i'll just check no worries didn't find it but what i did find in cart i've already read it but honestly i've been looking for this for so long so long i deserve to buy it even though i've read it and i don't know if i'll reread it but I just, I need it for the glory of finding a copy of Goddamn Ink Heart second hand. I found it second hand, all right? New, I'm sure I can find it anywhere. Second hand, that's a different story. That is a triumph right there. I will wrap this one and then put this one on my shelf. So I went to the shop and I bought all this stuff and I don't have a trifle bowl, but I have a clear bowl. So this will have to do. Um, I'm gonna make the jelly. I got two packets in case I muck the first one up. And then I'm gonna let that sit. Then I'm gonna make a sandwich cause I'm hungry. And then when my jelly's firm, I'll assemble. I'm thinking when I make my trifle, I'm going to listen to Anne of the Island. Now I know I said I probably wasn't gonna continue with the series, although I think I said that. Um, my friend recently sent me a TikTok of Anne with an E, the kissing at the end with G Gilbert. And I was like, hold on a second. I swear on my life, they did not kiss in that friggin' show. Like I watched the whole thing waiting for that gosh darn romance. Cause I love a romance, like a period drama romance, gosh. Anyway, and I could have sworn on my life they were just like, oh, maybe we'll be together. I completely forgot that they full on, like, got together at the end. Anyway, so I'm like, oh, I want to read the book now. So, I got it from Libby. It's only eight hours. I know I'm in the middle of, like, three books at the moment, but I just want to listen to it. So, I'm going to listen to that, 
and make a trifle. fridge until firm. I don't know when firm will be. Probably because I wasn't there to see your fall. I'm always missing some fun or other seems to be. Oh, Davy. And so back I swear to God, Davy, the character, like that kid character, is a serial killer in the making. He is messed up. <laughs> He's always like, oh, I like hurting people and I like watching people fall down. What the fuck? Also, I realized I don't remember what happened at the end of Adam Avonlea, even though I read it only a few months ago. I think Gilbert might have professed his love. I don't know what Anne did though in return, because now he's like hitting on her and she's like, what are you doing? I'm trying to keep up. I think Tiana's engaged. Where's all this coming from? Who the hell's Fred? I don't know. When I grow up, you can't do that. And there'll be nobody to tell me not to do things. Then I have the time. And there'll be the police. Yeah. Melting pulled and she laughed, reminding herself that this culture's food vulgarity of thought and speech could not harm her. No, Davy, I'm not. We are like, I think up to, we're 20 minutes in, right? And it has been about Gilbert the whole time. And I love it. This is the romance book. I mean, it might change. They might go, do God knows what. But this is what I expected in the second book. I opened up the second book, I was reading it, I was bored shitless. All right, there was like, barely, I was holding on to any grasp of Gilbert. I was like, and there was, um, any time they were like, there was a figure approaching, I'm like, oh my God, it's Gilbert. It wasn't. The last book was so boring. And the first book was cute and wholesome, but I'm like, I thought there was gonna be like enemies to lovers going on. It's just enemies for no reason. The whole, that's what I didn't like about the series is that the whole time it is enemies and the last like, tubes if episodes it was like lovers and i'm like it wasn't even it was still enemies in the last 20 minutes it was lovers up until that point they were just annoyed at each other well gilbert wasn't Anne was Anne's still annoyed about the hair pull thing i mean i i haven't watched it in so long i can't remember what happened i could be talking about my ass here but there was like no romance it was the slowest burn this was a children's book her friend is currently dying from consumption and she knows it too she's like oh Anne, i don't want to die i'll be in this graveyard dead in the ground and you will be up here living your life and i'm like frig it out i thought this was a children's series it's depressing this is the most depressing shit i have ever heard listening to I swear to god it is so sad she's like she's only 18 <laughs> these characters I don't care about but the, just what she's talking about is so depressing she's like oh I love Herb which is the guy she's engaged to I think and he loves me and I wish he could just live and be his wife this is depressing I signed up for a romance. You'll come up soon again? Yes, very soon. And if there's anything I can do to help you, I'll be so glad. That good night in the garden was for all time. Anne never saw Ruby in life again. The next morning, the word went from house to house that Ruby Gillis was dead. What the hell am I listening to? They have just chloroformed and killed a cat. Okay, they didn't kill it. They attempted to kill it, and then it survived, and now they've adopted it. So, so far, they've attempted murder on a cat, a dog has been killed, and now she's 20 years old. I don't think Gilbert will wait this long, and I'm a bit worried that this book, they will not get together. And I don't know if I can go through, like, seven books just to see them together. I mean, I said that about the last one. And here I am, but I'm really worried.
I'm going to suffer through whatever the hell this book is and not get to the end point that I want. Will you promise me that someday you'll be my wife? I, I can't, said Anne miserably. Oh, Gilbert, you, you've spoiled everything. Don't you care for me at all? Gilbert asked after a very dreadful pause, during which Anne had not dared to look up. Not, not in that way. I never, never can love you in that way, Gilbert. You must never speak of this to me again. What is the point? Why is she doing this to herself? She knows that she likes him. She's been like, oh, why do I blush every time I see Gilbert looking at me? Oh, like, I read, okay, I read Anne of Avonlea. And I remember at the end, he like, oh, there was like a hint that he might like her. And Anne was like, all right with it, I feel. And I thought, okay, yeah, t t fair enough. Up until this point, she wasn't ready to be with Gilbert. But I think in the next one, she will be, you know, like, She'll be older, she'll be wiser, she'll be more of the person that she needs to be to be with Gilbert. Nah. I mean, I may as well go through with it, but good God, this is not the book I signed up for. I do this every time. I keep reading the books and I keep reading them. I'm like, no, the next one is going to be the one that I need. It never is. Rhubarb crumble for my friend's family at Christmas. Um, it has to be vegan. But instead, I'm going to do this. Um, it's like rhubarb crumble squares. And then I'm going to make little mini trifles for my siblings that are coming over tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do them in like these friggin' McDonald's cups. That's the plan. Let's get to it. Hello, so I realized I didn't tell you how Anne of the Islands went. I finished it and they did get together. In the end, they got together on the last page, but only after she thought Gilbert was dying. And him thinking of her love for him that might happen in the future is what brought him out of his near-death state. Anyway, so they got together in the end. I do not know if I'm continuing. I'm sure one day I will just pick it up again because I can't seem to like stop thinking that I like these books. I don't hate them, but they're very friggin' weird. It's not romance based. It's got a romance in it, but it's not based in romance. So I don't think I like them, but I'll convince myself that I do in a few months, I'm sure. I think maybe three out of five stars. I can't remember what I, I, I rated it, but like it made me feel things, made me cry and it made me angry, but I didn't love it. I also didn't tell you what For Ho Ho was about. So there's this one guy called Silas who is like an IT designer person. He gets a roommate called Dino or Dino and he is like butch p uh, personal trainer and um they're like unlikely friends kind of thing um but like he's also he's butch but he's sensitive so that's that's what we need um anyway so they're both gay but they're just like roommates and they're just friends and then one day silas's parents invite says like oh you come home for thanksgiving and Dino tells his parents that he won't be coming home because he's spending it with his parents because they're together. Because he doesn't want Silas to have to go to Thanksgiving because his parents are homophobic as hell. Um, so that's all like fine and good until Christmas comes around and Silas's sister gets married, is getting married. So she sends an invitation to Silas and his boyfriend thinking that they're together. And he's like, do you want to come? So it's... Um, Forced proximity, 
it's fake dating, it has to share a bed, it's, it's all of the good things. It's friends to lovers and it is freaking adorable. It is so wholesome, so sweet, it's a novella, but it, it's just, it's beautiful. Um, so I would definitely recommend, and I rated it a 5 out of 5. And it is written by Nathan Burgoyne. So, that is what that's about. Alright, so I think this is going to be the end of the Christmas vlog. It's the 23rd of December, two days before Christmas. I've done some cooking, I've done some crocheting, I've done a quite a bit of reading. I've read A Christmas Carol, Fo Ho Ho, A Handmade Holiday, Anne of the Islands, and I think that's it. I did buy that book. I bought Carnival by Stephanie Garber. Found it shop. It was only four dollars, and I thought, why not? I didn't get around to reading the rest of the Christmas stories. Like I tried to, but I just couldn't. None of them were sticking. I don't think any of them were. They weren't written by Charles Dickens. So I'm like, well, what's the point? I don't think this vlog will end up coming out even in December. This is probably gonna come out in like February. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.